Okay, so if you've been with me any length of time, then you know that I love bingo. And you know that a bingo hall is nothing but a breeding ground for drama, fights, begging, and oh yeah, story time. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is another story time. You all have been asking me about a story time. I told you that it just kind of, it's one of those things that when something comes up or if I think of something that has happened, then I'll just kind of just jump in. I don't just, well, you know, there's people that actually do story time and just make shit up. Not over here. I tell you what's really going on. What's really going down in my travels. So let me set this up for you. So Sunday... The Sunday to just pass, I had actually gone to bingo. Now, we're going to start off by thanking my mother for passing along her bullshit. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to thank Miss Patty for passing her bullshit. I got her looks. I got a lot of her little ailments that she has. She just passed all that shit right along. <laughs> and one of the things that she passed along was pet peeves. I have some of the same pet peeves that she has. And one of the really bad ones, I cannot stand a person that does not have etiquette when they're at a table eating. It just drives me crazy. It just goes all through me. And I'm sure there are going to be years where my children actually tell stories about their dad and how ridiculous that I am when it comes to eating the proper way and eating quietly because I don't understand why it's a whole production when you're eating. When you're eating, it should be quiet because you, first of all, you really don't have to be doing all that talking. And if you're not talking, other than that, those should be the only sounds that you hear. Maybe the occasional fork, fork touching the plate or a knife touching the plate, but nothing out of your mouth should I be burdened with while you're eating? And my children know it. I don't be playing that shit. I ain't with it. I could be sitting in the living room. There's been many days I've been sitting in the living room and I'm like, Trayvon, don't Trey, I hear you. And if I continue to hear you, I'm coming up in there. And I know y'all don't want that. You don't want me to come up in there. And then it gets quiet because they know better. That young one, though, he'll try me anyway, honey. And I, I, just, I just try. I don't want to beat the child to death. I don't want to strangle him. So rather than to deal with him, a lot of times, I won't even sit at the table with him. So I don't have to get him, you know, but it's like ridiculous. Like you're not going to go out amongst the world like you haven't had any training. But anyway, see, I'm, I'm soapboxing at this point, but I can't stand a person that can't eat. And it just kind of happens. You know, it's there's nothing you can do about it. My grandmother. She's one. If she was my grandmother, I smacked the shit out of her, honey. She she mm -mm. I, I missed Alma. Girl, you're doing too much. I can hear you. You got shit falling while you try. You know, I, I just can't. I can't with her. I have a cousin who's horrible. Horrible shit. It, it, it's just a whole episode. It's giving you pig and trough when he eats. Everything he eats looks like he over there eating pig feet. You know, shit falling, shit all in his mouth. Horrible. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't sit at the table with him at all. And like I said, that young one of mine, he'll try it, but the difference is you're mine, and I'll pop the shit out of you. I will pop the shit out of you before I take you out of here, and we go somewhere, and you over there eating like a damn Viking. I just can't. I can't. But anyway, I say all that to say this. We're down to the bingo, and there's a woman there. She's a, uh, it's a nice way to say it. She's not the most capped, okay? And... She got an eating issue. And I just kind of tried not to look at her. But I'm over here and I'm sitting playing my board. She's sitting maybe three, four tables from me. And I see she over there. She eating a hot dog and shit's everywhere. And she's, you know, just going through the whole gamut of her fucking nastiness with her unkept ass. I said, okay, whatever. So I'm looking the other way, looking at the man with the balls. Because I ain't got time for it. 
So she's over there doing her thing. Ciao. And, you know, the big old all quiet. They're calling the numbers. <laughs> That's when it gets interesting. Next thing you know, Ciao, there's this other, there's a black woman who ends up saying, She's choking! <laughs> oh, shit! So, we're like, we look up and we're like, what? Old Nancy's over there. She choking on the hot dog and trying to still try to drink some damn pop and still trying to... Are you or are you not choking on that wiener over there <laughs> and you're still trying to shove more of it in your mouth honey where do you think you're at on a porn set honey you're not you're at the bingo hall you're fucking dying here stupid and she's still trying to i said why why all i came here for is to chip a few boards and try to pick up a little cash just a little cash. No dead bodies. No story times. But you can't get out of here without a story time. So she's over there with this whole episode going. And the woman's like, she, you know, she kept gets up and she's coming. She, she's choking. She's choking. She's choking. I said. Child, a man said, oh, 75. Well, bitch, you know, <laughs> at that point. I just got tickled. I just put my head down. I said, he don't even give a fuck. He didn't give a shit. He's like, look, I'm trying to give away this $100. I ain't thinking about that bitch that choking on that goddamn hot dog. They kept calling. Then this is what I say. You need to know your lane and stay in your goddamn lane. Don't try to be nothing you're not. If you're not a doctor or a nurse, please don't try to do that. Don't like, don't do that. Just... Do what it is that you actually do. Child, so there's a, a Caucasian woman who's actually sitting one table over from this fool choking on this hot dog and still trying to shove shit in their mouth. And I mean, she was really choking, like giving <clears throat> some of that old shit. Child, the woman gets up, walks around to her, rubs on her back, and then starts bamming her in the back. And I said, this ain't your lane, bitch. Everybody knows that if somebody's choking, you don't bam them in their back. I said, oh my God. I said, this is a mess here. I said, now, the hot dog was already doing her in. Now, you bought the fucker all the rest of the way up. So I said, this is just too much. It's too much. And I, you know, and I'll never be one of those people that go viral for having some good shit because I got so goddamn tickled. I'm sitting there with my phone in my hand. Because I had my phone on listening to music when it happened. I ain't had enough sense to click the camera on and film this shit while it's going on. Because I'm too busy laughing and trying to cover my face from laughing at old Dusty Dirty over there choking on the hot dog. And uh, it's just too much. It's too much. Eventually, they're over there and she's still going. They make her put the pop down. And they're like, come on. And she finally coughs. And the goddamn chunk of hot dog comes flying around. Just a whole episode in between 075 and 069. I said, this is just too much. This is too much. And I said, as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to sit down and I'm definitely going to do a story time. It's just too much. You go to bingo to relax. I do not go to bingo for the fun. So I've been at bingo when people have broke out fighting. I've been at bingo when people have had sugar attacks and ended up stretched out on the floor. The paramedics have had to come. I've been at a bingo a time when somebody sat there, got there, because you know you get like a bag to throw your garbage in. I've been at bingo when somebody set their goddamn garbage bag on fire and it was sitting beside them and it gave, foof, a, a child. A, a day. Bingo. The bingo hall is where it's all going down. Anyway, all right, you guys, until next time, keep your chipping going, honey. <laughs> Later.